aches and pains? They're just signs your body isn't working right. Your brain, spinal cord, and all your nerves control the way your body works. But did you know only 10% of your nerves are even capable of detecting pain? Those are the same nerves that tell the brain there's something wrong. I'm Lewis Meltz, a chiropractic doctor in Sacramento, California. And for the past 33 years, I've related this story to thousands of people just like you. So let me ask you, what do you think high cholesterol feels like? What does high blood sugar feel like? Or how about a fatty liver? What does that feel like? Now, if you're like most people, they don't feel like anything, at least until you're past the point of no return. And now you realize there's a problem. And that problem causes pain, discomfort, or another obvious serious symptom. But does it make any sense to wait? Especially if there was a simple solution to do something about it? You see, unlike the 10% of pain nerves, all your other nerves are devoted to the other 90% of listening and responding, maintaining every aspect and every function of your whole being, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The thing is, physical, chemical, or emotional stresses can produce defensive postures. And this occurs whereby muscles contract, blocking spinal joints, individually or in combination. And when this happens, it can pinch, scrape, or tug on a muscle, or irritate nearby nerves which exit the spine. And where do you think all these other nerves are headed? Some call this type of nervous system threat a subluxation, and others call it a fixation. But no matter what it's called, it can lead to other problems, big problems. Just like a cavity will destroy a tooth if neglected for too long, neglected over time, a subluxation can slowly and silently lead to disease and ill health. Okay, but how? Remember those listening and responding nerves? You know, the other 90% that don't detect pain? You see, some of them are sympathetic nerves and control the blood supply to all your vital organs. Among other problems, any minor interruption over time, they can result in what's called the ordinary diseases of adult life. And it's sad to say, many people have come to expect and accept the fact that these are normal parts of aging. You can probably name a few yourself. A thorough examination helps chiropractors find these subluxations. And because not all cause pain, they can affect any of the 28 movable vertebra where there's a pair of spinal nerves in the neck, middle, or lower back. And by applying a precise, skillfully detected force called an adjustment to the stuck and restricted spinal joints, then proper motion can be restored, allowing all the nerve pathways to function normally, not just the 10% that detect pain. But waiting to start chiropractic care is just like waiting for your smoke alarm to go off when you know all too well there are telltale problems. My advice? Why would you not want to not change habits that cause fires to start in the first place? It may take a handful of visits to do so. The good thing is chiropractic care is equally restorative and preventative. And with periodic follow-up, it helps the nervous system supporting it to revive itself, and then you'll see better health return. That's why chiropractic care can help anyone get well and stay well. All without drugs and without surgery, naturally. Okay, so there you have it. The 10% of nerves that detect pain and the other 90%, the listening and responding nerves that can cause so many other problems when irritated. We're a Chiropractic Orthopedic Group. We're in El Dorado Hills, California. I'm Dr. Lewis Meltz. Check us out at our website, myedhchiropractor.blogspot.com. If you found this interesting, share it with a friend, and then you can tell them, expect a miracle, and wake up feeling good again.